On High V Chiefs Insider, I get an amazing opportunity each week. I get to talk to our guys. We talk football. We talk X's and O's. Sometimes we talk off the field stuff. There's great stuff in these interviews. The problem? It's these guys, the editors. They take stuff and they throw it on the cutting room floor. Six minutes turns into three minutes, and that's all you guys end up getting to see on television. Well, here on Uncut, we take no frills, no music, no cuts. We just bring you the raw video from High V Chiefs Insider and put it on kcchiefs.com. Check it out. Welcome to Under the Helmet presented by Sprint. Left tackle Brandon Albert joins us. Man, give us a scoop on your bye week first. You know, we had a nice little bye week. Um, we had some uh, new coaches involved in the practice. I'm not going to name names, but uh, it was an interesting bye week. You know, we worked hard. You know, we tried to get better, and uh, it was uh, very productive. We'll talk about that, learning from some of the veteran guys on the field. What was it like hearing coaching points from guys that you line up with every day? Well, uh, I get coaching points anyway when they're, out, when they're on the field, so it, it wasn't a new thing. But, you know, just to see them in that perspective, you know, as coaches and see what their knowledge is. And, you know, you see you know, the guys got a lot of knowledge, you know, Brian and uh, Casey and Ryan, you know, the guys that have been playing this game for a long time. And seeing them outside that I'm being on the offensive line was very interesting. Turn your attention towards the Colts. You guys have been able to run the ball. You've cut down on sacks. But this is a Colts team who has two very strong defensive ends. How do you guys approach that this week? You know, uh, you know, just prepare the best we can, and um, you know, individually and as a team, and just trying to work hard. You know, like you said, they got a pretty good defense period, and you know, they got some, you know, probably some some of the best best defense ends, you know, rush defense ends in the game. So you know, it's going to be a challenge for the whole team and. Well, as a as as a unit, you personally you haven't given up a sack this year. However, what I think is more impressive, you also haven't committed a penalty. And team wide, this Chiefs team, the least amount of penalties in the league right now. How have you guys been able to do that? Don't bring me no bad karma, but uh, <laughs> uh, you know, just trying to concentrate. You know, work on your techniques and you know, just just hone in on your skills and and um, I, I think just being disciplined and get to you know going to the line and before the play starts, knowing what's going to happen, just be as calm as possible, but at the same time being aggressive. And I think as a whole team, we've been doing it. We've been taught very well to, with our coaching staff. So, you know, the less penalties, you know, the better you play. Does being the lone unbeaten team in the league, does that affect you guys any differently than it did when there were three unbeatens? No, you know, I think our mentality is we still got, we still, you know, we're still trying to improve and try to get better. And I think, uh, you know, you, 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 being unbeaten right now, you know, you, I'm not going to say we have a target on our back, but, you know, people, we want people to take us serious as a team. How does it affect you guys when you hear, well, the surprise unbeaten, the Chiefs? I know a lot of fans, when they talk to us, it, it doesn't sit well with them. Do, do you guys listen to that, or is it kind of a closed locker room and you guys just go about your business? Go about our business. We can't listen to what people say and, you know, what people think of us. We just got to go about our business, keep working hard, and, um, you know, keep preparing. You guys continue the games get bigger and bigger as you continue to win these games. In India, is this kind of a benchmark game for you guys, or is it just another week? Actually, you see out there, you're getting bothered as we do this. See, when you make it the big time when you make the high v Chiefs Insider, man. Oh All the guys want to chirp at you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm probably getting in trouble for that, but anyway, <laughs> another story. Now, as you guys keep winning these games, keep getting bigger and bigger. Uh, as you face Indy, is, is there any added pressure playing a team of the Colts that has been at the top of the AFC for so long? You know, not really. You just go out there, you know, you know we're playing a very good team. You know, good, been a good team for a while now. Got a lot of great players. So, you know, you just go on out there just trying to just trying to win a game, you know. You know, it's still early in the season. We just got to do what we got to do. All right, man. Best of luck. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. 65 toss power trap. Right, that might pop wide open, Rats. <laughs> 